Welcome to Kick's in and out Kiosk video tutorial for the PC. In this video, I will be giving you an overview of the in and out Kiosk and show you how you can use this software in your own facility. To download and install the in and out Kiosk, please watch our previous video on how to install the in and out Kiosk for the PC. Also, if you would like to know how to grant a Kiosk ID to the staff or parents, please watch our Kiosk ID video tutorial. As you can see, I have my Kick desktop here and my in and out kiosk right below it. Let's start by double clicking on the kiosk program. There are several ways you can use the in and out kiosk. You can use the mouse by itself, a numpad, or a touchscreen monitor. We will first be signing in children or parents with the mouse and numpad. And lastly, we will be signing in a staff member with the touchscreen monitor. Here we have the primary login screen for the facility you want the in and out kiosk to sync with. Enter in your cake member ID and password here, and log in. Now that we are logged in, you will not be able to go back to the primary login screen. This prevents people from exploring the software unnecessarily. You also won't be able to close out of the program unless you Alt F4 or click the Windows key. You will notice a numerical pad here. Date and time is over here, and a section where announcements can be read by the people signing in or out. Be sure that the computer time is also the same as the actual time. Let's go ahead and have one of our parents sign in into the in and out kiosk. She will be entering in her four digit pin number and as you can see, we are directed to a new page. Her name and picture is here and her children is listed below her. Now Cindy will use the mouse to select what she wants to do and that is to sign in both Alex and Emily into the facility. Now she will click save and exit and she is done. The information will immediately be synced to Get Connect and ready for download. Now let's sign in several children with a numerical keypad. Let's have Jason sign in into our in and out kiosk. As you can see, he is only using the numerical keypad. And now that he is in, you can see his name and picture here and all of his children below him. You may be wondering, by not using the mouse, how will he sign in the children? Well, you may notice that there are numbers 1 through 4 placed on the top left corner of each child's portrait. These numbers represent the number on the keypad. So by clicking the 1 button, he will be moving the check mark to the next option. This method is built to ensure a quick and painless sign-in and out experience. Now let's have Jason sign in the rest of his children and click enter, and we are done. Also pressing the backspace or clear button will bring you back to the login screen without doing any action. Now all of the children that has been signed in will appear in the class tab of your Kick desktop after syncing with Kick Connect. Let's have one of my staff members sign in into the in and out kiosk using the touchscreen monitor. I will simply have Sue enter in her kiosk ID and she will be brought to a new page where she can see a photo of herself and three choices. Let's have her clock in by pressing the sign in button. Click save and exit. And since the touchscreen monitor has a built in webcam into the monitor, a countdown timer will begin and take a picture of her for the attendance reports. As I said before, the in and out kiosk is always synced to Kick Connect. However, for Kick Desktop, you will have to sync it manually before seeing any new updates. This concludes our overview of Cakes in and out kiosk. We hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.